Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Andrew Cam with Holtec Gaming. This is episode 36 of the Wacky Chapters of Butterscotch the Warrior. We are in a, uh, a dwarven ruin, and we are in here today to grab an Elder Scroll, if you believe it. And I hope you guys are excited, because this is a... Uh, Definitely a, a big, this is a big daddy dungeon. It's supposed to be one of the end game dungeons and we need to take this as seriously as we can, but we're going to try to enjoy ourselves at the same time. Yeah, you guys get me right? Hopefully. Let's check the map, make sure I'm going the right way. <laughs> 40 seconds into this episode, let's do that. Uh, way over there, I think we're going the right way. Let's just go ahead and... Trust our instincts. Then we'll get shown the way eventually, I'm sure. I just need to get, uh, make sure that I'm ready for any, uh, bull skite that might happen. What am I doing? We're Butterscotch the Warrior. You don't sneak around. Okay. Obviously, we need to go there. Here's a book. Fancy. Ooh, research notes. Definitely taking that soul, Jim. I'll go ahead and read the research notes. Why not? I assumed it was going to start a, a quest for us. It did not. Kind of good. I think we're going to have our first fight here. I'm not sure. I saw the red dot pop up the second I said it. Very satisfying. <laughs> Very satisfying for me. Okay. Okay. So I'm in such a good mood, guys. Because I totally ate just right a second ago. I'm super happy about it. I'm, I, I like eating. <laughs> I really enjoy eating, you guys. I don't know if you guys know that. I think everybody does. But I had uh, some Chinese food. Well, I guess most people wouldn't really see Panda Express as Chinese food, but I certainly like it. Are you going to, yep, you're going to attack me. A little weird, whatever. Maybe he was aggroing the, ah well. Those potions are huge. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take these, take this just for plot that I'm not going to acknowledge, whatever. I need to really stop picking things up because I'm annoying myself at this point. Ooh, excuse me, a burp. But, welcome back. This is uh, a lot of fun for me. Hopefully it's a lot of fun for you. We are fast-paced and hard-pressed to finish this game. And I think we're going to be able to do it pretty well. And if we don't, it's fine. Oops, my bad. We'll see how it goes, and we'll figure it out together, shall we? Cool, cool, cool. This is probably all just treasure, and it really doesn't mean shit for nobody, but whatever, right? We're here. Might as well. I'm, I'm so cool, I'm going to ignore the other chest that was just right there and obvious. Look at, look at the heat line. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. I like that a lot. Another guy going to pop out? Yep, over there. He probably set fire to this whole thing. Oh, he's using fire. <laughs> oh, shit. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Hell yeah. Okay, that's obviously just a treasure room. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's a trap. Not worried about it. Let's go ahead and shout at you because I don't like your face. These are just diversions. Okay. Do we go up there, or do we go in here? I think we should go over here. Maybe that's the case. Uh oh Didn't even see that thing. Crazy. There we go. 
Looking good, guys. I love the aesthetic of this area. I really, really, really do. Um, I mean, it's it's dwarven, right? It's it's definitely based off that whole Tolkien-esque idea of dwarves and them being industrious and. It, I, I, I like it, man. It, it's a cool kind of vibe this game is giving off, and I, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and ignore all the other bullshit happening back there. Let's just go ahead and uh, <laughs> push on forward, right? So, as I said, we're on episode 36. Um, it's about 6 p.m. Central Standard Time in the good old state of Texas. Your host, Andrew Campbell, just got done eating a delectable Chinese dinner. And, uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna let this food settle and hopefully I get to drink a little bit here pretty soon. And hopefully you guys are gonna be right there with me. And that's the thing. Traditionally, and this is the only playthrough that I say this at, but, like, Whenever I fight an enemy, I'd like you guys to participate in a little drinking game with me. Um, it's completely optional. You obviously don't have to do it. Like, what kind of a weirdo would I be if I tried to force you to... Oh, I hit Rihanna. Don't, don't, don't get mad, Rihanna. I'm sorry. No, Rihanna, no! Oh, okay. I thought she was pissed off at me. That would have been terrible. Oh, man. All right. Anyway. <laughs> that would have been... Oh, Rihanna. Por que? It to Rihanna? Should I go down there? That looks fun, but we're not going to do it. Okay. Don't get hit by the whirlybird thing. Hopefully, Rihanna... Whoa. I need to pay attention to what the hell I'm doing. There we go. Hey, good job, Rihanna. So these things are not a good sign. You'll you'll see why in a second. And no shit, whenever this game came out, these uh, these bugs gave me nightmares. <laughs> Believe it or not, it was actually pretty scary for me. And I know I was in the in the service at the time, and uh, I don't know why they're they're just super creepy. We're not gonna waste our time with that. Let's grab this potion and be on our way. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do some magic. I'm gonna become ethereal. Now I need to remember to do it before I jump, because <laughs> you can't do it uh, flying down to your death. Okay. We ready? I'm gonna do it on that side. Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all. Here we go. Hey! Awesome. I think this skips a whole lot of bullshit too. But you gotta watch out for these Falmer that are everywhere, and I just noticed that's crazy. This may not end well. We're doing okay though. There we go. Doing good, baby cakes. There we go. Now, if we just get through this door, I think we'll be okay. I don't know about Rihanna and how she's doing. <laughs> but at this point, I think she'll be able to handle herself. That's a trap. It's a trap! Is there a bad guy following me? No, they're all pissed off at Rihanna. Let's head on in here. Hopefully this, uh, you know, sets all the crap off. Or not sets all the crap off. I mean, Rihanna comes to me, resets, the bad guys go away. Sometimes they, I don't know if they do it in dungeons or not, but sometimes they chase you through the door. See, perfect. And it just auto-saved, so we're, we're looking good. Um, yeah. So watch out for the traps. Bad guy. Fight! I used the wrong shout. It's my fault. Butterscotch! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, there you go. Drink up. Butterscotch it up, boys and girls. 
I need to go ahead and recharge my my shite before we go to am I already almost out of soul gems really that is not a good sign <laughs> that is not good oh no all right well at least the weapons are doing their jobs that's good right All right, let's go ahead and flip the switch. Oh, you know you got to flip the switch. Uh-oh. She's going to be a problem. I just did it again. I am using the wrong shell. Yep, she's dead. Bye-bye. Hey, there's a ballista. Is that what they're called, ballistas? Eh, well. Cool, though. Okay. Oh, shit! God damn it, that scared it. Fucking! Oh, the wrong shot! No! Oh God in heaven! What's happening? Save me, Rihanna! <laughs> Save me! <laughs> oh, down he goes! That thing scared the living crap out of me. Oh, that really hurt! <laughs> that really hurt! Incredible! Alright, I'm going to go ahead and loot this dude. Glass arrows, that's super cool. These cores come in handy. And if you can get a hold of them early, you know, it's a, it's a good thing to do. I'm not going to take too much of your time. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, up, up, up. Hey, these guys. I don't think I've ever seen these guys alive. Have I? I don't know. I they, oh, nope, they're attacking me. Cool. They're attacking you. Oh, shit! Okay. This is... I don't know why. This is crazy, man. It's crazy. Okay. Cool. So I know that you get a special shield here. She's got a lot of good armor. I'm going to try to put that on Rihanna if she'll take it. And we got the Imperial Sword of Binding, which is a good soul gem type of thing. Yes, my friend. Let's see if she'll take Indeed. it or not, or if she's still over encumbered. I think I service. took off enough of her uh, dragon scales or bones or whatnot to where she'd be fine. We'll see, though. Plate, 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 plate. Boots. Boots. Okay. Cool. Now she's all upgraded with cool stuff and we can move on. Very excited. Black Reach. What's Black Reach? If I remember right, I think Black Reach is a gigantic subterranean ecosystem with a lot of scary stuff in it. And there are multiple places all over Skyrim. Yeah, this is Blackreach. Multiple places all over Skyrim that kind of access it. And you can come in at different points and it's got some pretty cool extra stuff. And, you know, it's 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 legitimately a good time. Unfortunately, we're not going to be really spending too much time here. But you never know. I like talking about it. It's fun. I almost died. That reminds me of a, what's your name? Famous female American poet. Um, very instantly, Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson, uh, she had a, a very famous poem. Uh, I might be wrong, but I think it was her that wrote, I saw a fly when I died. If you are an Emily Dickinson fan, or if you're just a, a literature or poetry fan in general, check that out, right? Uh, Daedric Hart, yes please. Look at all these alchemical hoopa Jews. We're going to take the Crimson Nern route, because it's there, why not? Starts a quest that I'll never finish. 
Oh, yeah, we need those. Cool. Let's disenchant what we can't understand. <laughs> As humans do with most things. There we go. Alchemy. And yes, I mispronounced it on purpose. Hopefully that did not upset you. Okay, he died from arrows in the face. I picked something up. I wonder if this was a Dwemer dude, right? Uh, where was it? Wasn't that... Wasn't uh, this one? Nope. This one? Nope. <laughs> this one? Nope. I'm playing a game, guys. It's, it's called entertainment. Jesus. Uh, I don't know, man. Here we go. Yeah. So you collect Nern Roots. It's, I've never completed it. I want to someday. Not going to be now. <laughs> in this playthrough. But, you know, I wonder what happens. Right? It's kind of like the... Uh, what do you call it? The Fire Salt mission. Right? Here, there's... Yeah, Ebony Ore. There's a bunch of good stuff down here, man. The, the, the give and take, though... And I'm going to go ahead and save it. Because I didn't see an auto save happen. There's a lot of dangerous dudes, and uh, you need to watch your ass around here, right? The foul murder here. There are, like, right where that dude is, there's one of those giant, uh, scary automaton dudes. There are the, the gigantic bug dudes. I think this is a Falmer thing with no Falmer in it, because, of course, there's not. It's an interesting thing. I appreciate this area very much. It's very beautiful. Uh, it's got its charm. It really does. And I thought I was going to be able to jump up that, but I guess I can't. Here's another thing. What was it? You can mine the... Whoop! Getting hit. There we go. There's that Falmer. I was wondering where you were. Whoop, I'm getting hit by one of his dogs. Uh, dog, where are you? Bark, bark. Bark. I don't see you. You were puking on me. You exist. Maybe Rihanna's fighting you right now. If Rihanna dies, there's one of them. These things are nightmare fuel for me. I don't know what it is. I just hate them. They are terrible. Okay. I guess we'll just keep going towards the goal, man. I guarantee he's probably up there not going to worry about it. I do want to change my shout while I'm thinking about it. Uh, I wonder, I've, I don't, has anybody ever done a storm call down here? <laughs> Would that do anything specific? Look at that. It's got a man-made sun up there. Isn't that awesome? And there are a lot of things to do down here. Like, that's an exit that takes you back up to Skyrim. There, there are exits and entrances all over this place. Oh boy, here we go. Thankfully, it's not attacking me. Very happy for that. Thank you. Goodbye. You can make armor out of their 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 exoskeletons. But it, I like the armor. Don't get me wrong. And if you're into that type of stuff, and oh god, okay, you have to do the lever to wake those boys up. And this is kind of a grinding spot getting those cores like I told you all about earlier I don't see Rihanna around we're not getting attacked right now I might wait for her for an hour or so we need to go ahead and get out of black there she is wonderful we need to go ahead and get out of black reach ASAP such a cool area though it really does do a lot of things for me it's all look at that it's all bioluminescent crap floating around, and it's just so cool, man. So cool. It's unfortunate. Well, okay, let's say this. Skyrim is diverse, right? It's got a, a marshy area. It's got a forest area. It's got a, it's got a lot of different things going for it, right? But not so many mystical areas like this right black reach is definitely a more unique type area come on there we go wonderful 
It's definitely a more unique type thing. Ooh, excuse me. Can I not? What's what's happening here? Okay, I don't know why, but I wasn't able to to go across that for a second. Kind of weird. Whatever. Here we go. And this is the lift to take us. It, it all of the Dwimmer ruins are connected by Blackreach. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier or not. But either way, we, we made it out of Blackreach. I really wish we could have explored a little bit more. But I think it's appropriate that we end here. So next time, tomorrow, 12 p.m., come on back. We're going to go ahead and start episode 37 for the Wacky Chapters with Butterscotch the Warrior. See you later, guys. I'm Andrew Campbell with Holtec Gaming. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.